I will be going with the Adam Hannis Tour Series Wasp. Nice. It's very beautiful. It is. That's nice. Oh! Welcome back to DGAN Disc Golf at Nauseam. Welcome to the first video. It's going to be me and Ben. I can already see Ben uh, being a little bit upset about that name. We'll talk about it. I that love one. it. Oh, you love it? Okay, I good, love good, it. Good, good. Pretty bad. Uh, we are here at Rosedale today in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, you'll be seeing obviously a lot of the Auckland uh, courses because that's where we are all based. Um, but hole one today is across the pond. You want to head over that way and then head to the left. It's behind the pine trees there. Uh, very hard shot, pretty happy here with a par today, but we'll see how we get on. What a little bit of doing? a tailwind, so it's going to make it slightly more overstable. Correct. Which means I'm going to go with the scorch. I'm going to aim for the trees in the centre, and if it drifts left, happy days. If not, straight, I'm still happy with the shot. So, so we're only doing... I haven't there. warmed up at all, but tuck it. <laughs> Just to yeah. test it out. Let's go with the scorch. Lost that completely. Uh, touch high, but pretty happy with it. I'm oh, not going to RPM pull you. I Let's go. It. Oh, you completely sold me on that one. <laughs> Fully thought it had gone. They got kicked down like nothing else. And it should be a reachable, but that's concerning. Um, I just got kicked down a bunch, so I didn't quite make it over. I should be able to reach the disc, uh, but I gotta play from the drop zone. So we're going up, I'm gonna go through the right hand end here and hopefully hide the back towards the big tree where the basket is. I've recovered from here before, um, but we'll see how it goes. You okay? Oh, I can't you okay? Did you oh, get stung? I'm stung by a wasp. Oh god. Oh, Definitely get that on camera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was right over my dinosaur fucker. <gasps> now I have to go back in for it. Here it comes, I saw him! <laughs> He's coming for me again, man. Go, 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 go! Oh, shit, that fuck that hurts. <laughs> Oh, that is nasty. God damn. Oh. I have to take my winner in that too. The things we do for, for disc golf, eh? Oh. <laughs> Not a great start to the day. No. Go out of bounds, hit a tree, get stung. I'm just gonna up with the feet too. Oh. 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 Go on, go in. Oh! oh. Bounce off it. <laughs> Alright, Sean has a fairly good lie. Um, I'm gonna go Z Flex Zone. Z Flex Zone if you didn't get that. Let's see where he's getting to. Yeah, it's nice. Right up there. Nice part. Yeah, please. There I am. Woo! Let's go. That okay. Was pretty good. Uh, so Sean here from behind the camera. Ben unfortunately didn't record my drive. I did hit first available, so maybe he's doing me a favour. We'll see. Uh, I'll uh, redo the intro. Yeah. Um, so it's part four, about 140, 150 metres, I think. Um, 
So we're heading down past the trees on the left first, so you want to land right on your first shot or turn over to push past that gap first, and then we'll be pisering back in uh, to a nice little guarded green on the left. And go with the FD and try to just turn it over. Too much height, and I tried a black ace. Shot. Here's Sean, he's uh, before that uh, copse of trees that we talked about at the start. Makes it very tough um, to save far from here, and he's just going to really pitch out. Oh, Sean's in the way, but looks like he's pitched out nicely. Got a great skip off the tee pad. Great skip off the next tee pad, he says. Beautiful. Big. Nice pitch out. Ben's going buzz here. Not what he's wanting. Sean has unfortunately landed um, right against the path, so he's marked his lie in very awkward footing. It's probably going to have to be a standstill here. And yeah, looks like he's round. That could be a safe part, well done. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Good little run. Yeah. We good. Bogey. Bogey. He's away. Great par save. Thank you. Yep. This hole's a bit tricky. It does really require you to have a forehand. You've got to hit the first gap here, and then this tree is littered all the way to the basket, which is very slightly on our right. It's right behind that tree in the centre there. Just can't quite see it here. Definitely want to try this forehand if you haven't. Uh, I don't. I'm going to go back. Backhand it is. Ooh, into the tree, unfortunately. Right, this will also be the best test for. Um, also be the best test for the microphones to see whether or not they can actually hand much wind. Ben going forehand. Oh, so high. Ah, I lost it entirely. Oops. Do a forehand flex to the zone. Right I could there. go buzz this again. I've been liking my straight shots though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try buzz again. It's gonna go with the buzz backhand. Buzz SS and hope it just carries a little to the right. Or, oh, just a little short, but yeah. he's in circle. That's good. Not bad. We're in a trusty key. Go high here yeah. again. Basket's just through there. Big down. Oh, too early. Hmm. Fortunately, caught all the branches. This is quite picturesque. Very long look at the basket. Oh, great run! Great run! Now longer. <laughs> Don't even know if you can see the basket in the shadow. Uh -huh. Oh, just on the base. He's going to join me in Bogeyville. Yeah. Okay. Ben's prepping the tasty mentor forehand that he knows and loves. Mentor. This hole 
is probably the hardest in the current layout I'd say. Maybe maybe after hole one, maybe in contention with hole one. You start here, you're playing down back to the basket of hole two, just through the trees there. Really requires you to have a very accurate forehand or a very accurate turnover. Lots of out of bounds. Oh yeah, lots of out of bounds like Ben mentioned. Short. That was phenomenal. Two. Pretty much as good as you can get. It's more reliable. Sure. It also refocuses it, which is clutch. Yeah. Uh, I'm going turnover because again, just want to practice it. Uh, I don't really have a forehand. So. Gone inside. Should be oh, safe though. Hit a tree. It was a pretty good line. Hit a tree. Not a bad line at all. Should be safe. Oh, I hadn't been, but Sean's gonna try a tiny little bit of flip with his Buzz SS, and there's the basket down there. Oh, it looks good. It's gonna fade back. Didn't get as much fade as I normally get out of it, but I'm no. uh, happy to hit the gap, so. Not a lot of a fade, but great shot. So Ben's drive just finished here, as you can see. You know, guys, a great question of this goal is layout or run? Always run it. So this is a practice match. Yeah. Always run it. Terrible luck. Go in! <laughs> ah, unlucky. Here we have a wild bin in its natural habitat. Oh, unlucky. Wanna tap that bad boy in? Alright, here comes Sean. Oh, his par. That ain't a par. You mean to um, tap it in? Okay, I really wanted to make that par though. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to hole five. This is an easy hole with a little bit of added difficulty around the basket. Probably on the edge of my driving distance, but if you can comfortably get to 75, 80 meters, you're pretty much parting this. There is some guardian trees just at the end there, and you have to make it over a little crest. Uh, but like I say, you just want to be doing a very nice drive here. Get as close as you can, and you're pretty much putting the birdie. What are you throwing? Oh, going with the star T bird. And now my hand is spinning. <laughs> I had that for most of it. It was uh, it was an all right drive. I could have gone I could have gone a little bit right there, but let's do it. Woo! That was a nice shot. All right, we got Sean. He's all pretty much pin high, uh, like edge of circle, I guess. I don't know what distances are. just on the top. Unfortunate. Nice part. Ben picked up the first birdie of the round um, and that takes us to three plus three for both of us. All right we're here at hole five of the league layout. I'm going who are your forehand? Um, kind of straight ahead of you. Um, you've got a bit of airspace on the left though, but you don't want to go too far because of these big bushes. Um, but on the right you've got these two tall trees, it's very hard to get under because it drops down as well. So there's very little air underneath those trees to go, so I prefer to forehand a bit higher and sort of spike down into the green. See how it goes. That much higher. And it's going to die early. Uh, welcome 
Welcome back to Hunt for the Wilder People. And uh, oh, there's one right there. You can see him just uh, in the depths of those bushes. I don't know how I'm supposed to film this shot. I'll, get, I'll do a catch cam, eh? So we're looking straight at Sean. You can kind of only see his arm though. Hey, we got out. Here's Shawnee after playing out of the bush. He's got that circle's edge for par. Oh, it's gone between my legs. Hole seven, really fun hole. Uh, tree in front of us here is Mando. You've got to go left off, and you can see the basket it's to the right of the tree down there. Uh, two options: high turnover that slowly fades and finishes, or like a high forehand that sort of spikes down. Just a little bit of brush to contend with. If your forehand, you kind of want to be higher than this tree here. Okay, one of the harder things about this one is that there is runoff behind the basket. Good, not, a, not too much ground play, pretty happy with that. Alright, we've got Sean out here. Oh, perfect. Easy tapping. Fine. Um, we started the round by uh, I went to drive over the water with you know the part I had my door that I hate throwing over? Yeah, but I don't want to. Literally the wind just went boom boom boom. Smashed it down into the like the reef. So like it's still sustainable. I go into the reef to grab it and this huge water just goes boom. Wanna come just hang out on the next ones before they arrive? What is that? Um no, I think two of them are catching up now. Yeah. Okay. You too. Little lift, but good. I didn't introduce the hole so you can do it and we'll pretend you shot this. <laughs> I was gonna wait until you figured it out, but I was just like, nah, just let him drive, don't don't ruin the vibe. <coughs> hole late of the league layout. Pretty straight forward stand off here by the fence. They're driving straight across the path to this basket here. OB left side of the path, so you may want to make sure that you get the drive uh, across as far as you can. Um, and it does drop away down towards the creek, so you definitely don't want to be long either, but it's not OB. I'm uh, going to wait for the Tiffa to go through, uh, and I will be going with the Adam Hammers Tour Series Wasp. Nice. Very beautiful. It is. That's nice. Oh! Boy, just over the top it looked like. Oh. This wasn't recording that. Do you want to do it again? <laughs> okay, only if I make it. Wow. Oh, we'll just keep going until you do. I feel like that's reasonable because you actually did make the putt. It's just that I fucking bat fingered the... Love it. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we've got two lovely drives here giving us both birdie looks. Here's Ben's. Great birdie. Definitely this time on camera. <laughs> oh, and we are about to run out of battery. Oh, we've only got a couple of holes left. Go, 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 go. And there are people behind us, so. Right. Hole nine, bit of a fast one because we're about to run out of battery. But this one goes just downhill and then slightly to the left of the tee pad. Nothing really in the way aside from the construction works on the right here and the creek on the left. So you want to keep it nice and straight. Going with the wasp again. It's really nice. Out of the way. Oh, basically parked though. Let's go. Okay. Out of the way. Hand it over. Oh, I like it. Died early. 
Unlucky. Too much pressure. Here's Sean. Downhill birdie. Does he have it in him? Downhill birdie. Like a helicopter coming in. Great for the audio. Great for the audio. Oh, softballs it. We'll come for the cleanup. Yeah, that's par. <laughs> Shoot me, 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 shoot me